Good morning, fourth and fifth grade. This is not me. This is a pitiful plant on my patio. This is actually an Easter lily. Let's get down here and look at them kind of close. It's really sunny out today and cold, actually. But look way down in there. He's growing. The story of this plant is really quite interesting. The pot's pitiful, I know that, because he's really heavy. But I'll have to tell you the story of this Easter lily. I've had him a long time. And he sat about in that area. It's He sits next to a, um, a handmade birdhouse in the shape of a, of a church. And it's kind of sitting up on stilts, kind of. My husband had it made. So he sits right there. He's been sitting there for years. Well, you remember all the heat that we had last summer. It was awful. And I just could not keep the thing alive because of all of the heat. And he died, so I thought. And I just sort of drug him behind this wooden, I mean, um, brick um, ledge that sort of surrounds our carport. And I put him back there. I was going to deal with him later, dump him in the trash can, something. I just couldn't pick up the pot. You saw it was a really big pot because there's a lot of dirt in there. And I was going to pick him up and dump him later. I felt bad because I'd had him a long time and I just couldn't bear to look at him anymore. So I pulled him behind the, the ledge and I left him back there and forgot all about him until like two weeks ago when we were home and I had time to wander around and see stuff that I forgot about and I saw him and he had turned all brown of course because I thought he was dead and I found him before Easter and there was all this brown and leaves stuck in him and bugs and you know he was icky. I cleaned him all cleaned all the stuff out because I thought I saw something. I cleaned all the icky out of him and I saw all this green sprouting up from my Easter lily. Now an Easter lily is called Easter lily because around Easter time every year it blooms. You may have seen Easter lilies. They have these um, tall white blooms that come out around Easter time. And if you remember when we went to church around Easter, people like to buy Easter lilies and they decorate churches with those and they're fragrant. They smell pretty. That's when every, that's why everybody sneezes at church on Easter is because of the Easter lilies that are in the, in the church. Well, that's what that is. And it used to be real tall and bloom and be so pretty around Easter time. And um, it would have these giant white blooms. And, um, and I was very sad. But I saw all this green coming out of it. And I thought, oh my goodness, look at it. Because the heat just killed it. Dead, dead, dead. But it wasn't dead. There was life way up under the surface. Um, and I was excited because it really wasn't dead. So I brought it back around in its old spot, right up underneath the church, and wanted to see what it's doing. And you saw what it's doing. It's uh, bringing itself back to life. And uh, it's going to be beautiful. The green is pretty, and I gave it a little food. And um, But you never know underneath there, do you, what's happening. And I... It's very interesting, right here, um, after Easter, and we're um, having this strange time, and um, we enjoyed Easter, strangely, and um, that plant is an example of the life of a Christian, and what Easter means, and the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, and the resurrection, what it means to us in our life, that plant is doing exactly that. Um, when um, 
Jesus lived and then he died and then he rose again. It gives us new life. It's like um, our lives uh, become dead to this world, but we get brand new life and much better and healthier and stronger than ever before. And that's exactly what's happening with that plant. I thought the plant was a goner. Um, and in 2 Corinthians 4.15, it speaks to just that. 2 Corinthians 4.15, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, and we are, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things pass away, and behold, new things come. And, you know, I thought it was a goner. They thought Jesus was a goner. I took all that stuff out of the pot and I saw life coming. I was hopeful that life was coming and I cleaned it all off and put it right back in the spot in the shadows of that church where it was and you saw it yourself. It's coming. The Easter lily is coming. So by next Easter, when we're back in church, I hope, um, it will be blooming and reminding us of the life and the new life that Jesus gives us that we will have each and every day and life eternal. So I hope that that plant is a good reminder for us as we experience um, our new and different life here and we will be back together soon. And uh, so just enjoy this time, make it special, and uh, think about when life returns back to normal, um, how we can uh, make it an even better life. So um, I think about you all every day, I pray for you all every day, and I can't wait to see you again. And remember that the Lord has given us all a brand new life, and so enjoy it. And remember to honor him in all you say and do. We love you. Your PCA family loves you. Have a great and wonderful day.